Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This train is going to change. We are removing boxcars from it today and our network's going to get a little bit of a tweak. This station included. I've been umming and ahhing about how we're going to get our machines across the map up to Athens from this factory. And uh, I've, I've come up with a plan. It's a biggie. Today was supposed to be a look at the early lines that we've got and making sure our line rates are roughly where we want them. Are there any trains that we could have improved? But instead, I've gone for a, a complete rework. We're having a boxcar train. It's purely going to deal with uh, anything that goes in a boxcar. And it's going to run similar to what our one that uh, just went by us is doing. But this junction here is not going to exist. This crossing isn't going to be this side of the factory. It's going to be at the back. I know some of you don't like to have a, uh, a train that flips. So I'm going to address that today. And it should actually make this whole area quite nice. This whole area is going to change as well. Uh, it's going to be interesting. There, there is something I'd like to do with this service. Or well, actually, no, we can do that afterwards. Because we're going to get rid of boxcars, it means it's going to make it easier to wait until full on this train. There goes our uh, iron train. That does need a bit of a, a boost, our iron train. But not today, not today. We've got lots to do today. So let's start the rework, shall we? When we first put this in, it was a placeholder, sort of. It's pretty much in a place I like. Uh, it just needs a bit of a tiny rework so that uh, instead of our trains flipping here, they do a loop around the back of the, uh, the machines factory there. Let's get us a bit of flattening done. Long gone are the days where we couldn't afford this. But all of this area is at the same height, or it should be at the very least. Which means we can get ourselves a nice flat area around the back where we can send our track. We can get a rough idea if we smooth it out like this, how it needs to sit. We'll redo the road. We don't actually do anything with the road now. Heading down to the, uh, to the quarry there. I think the road's actually the right height for it, yeah. It's kind of beautiful. This is going better than I planned already. In my head, anyway. <laughs> That's where it sits right now. We get ourselves a little bit of a rock face back there. It probably won't stay as a rock face. It just needs to be a hill, doesn't it? Our other track's going to head down that way. Since we don't use this road, it doesn't matter what we do with it. So we can get rid of it. That's what happens, by the way, when you smooth or flatten when there's a road there. It sort of remembers what the uh, terrain was before you did that. So we'll get that all smoothed off. It's usually better to do all this flattening before you make your roads. But it uh, doesn't always work like that, does it? You're never sure where you're going. Well, you might be. I'm never sure. I like to grow organically. We're not turning around here. Instead, we're going to be doing something up this end. And heading off. Yes, you won't like this, Mr. Uh, Stone Train. But you will like probably where you've got to go. It possibly cuts off a little bit of uh, distance for our train here. Could we possibly go high speed? Yes, but... I, I like keeping our freight trains limited to 75. Uh, it's not going to be possible everywhere, but it should be possible here. Uh, can we get you nice and flat now? There's a few little lumps and bumps around. I love that we get a tour around the uh, machines factory here. More scenic, isn't it? Very much a big freighty area, industrial area. There we go. It almost looks like we can just slide up here and that will be the new track. Yes, it is. That's kind of lovely. So our new track is heading round this way. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is perfect. 
Oh, that's not pretty, is it? No, should we um, do something about that? It was going so well. And then we had a, a strange bit of elevation going. This might not be flat. That might be the issue there. Yeah, and since this isn't the track anymore, we might end in buffers up here somewhere by the looks of things. That might be uh, nice in itself. Yeah, up to up to there, up to the junction, the old junction. And we'll get rid of the signals though, because they wouldn't be required anymore. There we go, that's kind of nice. It's got the old uh, ballast there where I was painting. That means this bit can just glide in because we don't have to worry about a junction. I love it. What? Well, although this is changing too, so we're going to get rid of all of this. Not all of it, all of it. Uh, just a bit up to the tunnel because we're going to make this a four track uh, tunnel now. It's like now that we can afford fancy stuff, we're going full on with it. This is going to continue round. We will need to possibly get rid of that signal though. Uh, this whole setup is going to be quite a bit different. Oh no, that isn't continuing round like that. It's actually going to join in up here. We need to uh, five track this now. I oh, know it's, it's getting massive, isn't it? There we go. That should be that should be nice. It's almost a, a triple switch there, isn't it? This has to go. This is one giant crossing now. We don't actually send any trucks over there anymore. They go around that way. Okay. Now we can't have a five track gantry. So what we'll do is we'll head into here. Oh, actually, we don't need that signal there. Yeah, we'll head into here and do something a little more involved. There we go. There we go. It's not bad. It's 50. We just need this to come back here, I think. And then go round so it's a little uh, a little smoother into the into this <laughs> into this crossing. We could cross it. I don't mind that, but uh, I think it'd be better doing something like this. I would prefer it not to slow down, but we're going to be coming out the station. If we can get it close to 50, I think that I think I'll take it. It's not far off, is it? Oh, there it is. Get that at 50, and this is going to continue round that way. So we have a two-way section on here for a little bit. Now, will that be 50 is the question. If we can get this 50, oh, it's it's just not there, is it? 48? Do I mind that? I don't think I do mind, to be fair. We could try and... No, it's just a little off. But that's fine, that's fine. I know we could sweep this round and cross over. Because this is dedicated going that way now. But uh, I'm just trying to mix things up a bit and, and remove the need for... I know it would be nice to go around there. But re remove the need for a, uh, a flat crossing. Right, you go in there. We only need it at 50. Then we've got... Uh, this one is the one that's coming that way, isn't it? At 50. This is the one that will be heading, yes, through there. So we'll get our signals in. This is now one way heading that way. We can now put a one way signal up here. Move up a little bit so we can see where we're sitting on the uh, gantry there. There we go. That's kind of nice. We'll need, <laughs> we'll need a way for our trains to know what's happening over this end. The intricacies of this dear oh dear it was supposed to be a quick change at which point do you load up transport fever and think it's going to be a quick change right if we sit that in there it would have to be oh it, over there that'll do yeah it just misses that train is perfect it just misses the train could we maybe get that aligned better that's what this is for here oh yeah that works, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Never mind. Maybe plus one. I think they're... Uh... No, there we go. It's lovely. You sit on there perfectly. I know you can't see it coming through the tunnel. I just need it functional. The other one, facing the other way, you'll be able to see, and it's less required, but never mind. 
This is what we're going with. Right, will you sit on there and overlap? Sort of. I mean, you can't really do it perfectly, but uh, that's close enough. There we go. That's an interesting setup. It's certainly added to it. I mean, one thing we could do is, is have a, a cliff edge here and not have a tunnel at all. And then we always see our trains. I mean, that's an idea. It's getting there, isn't it? This one's heading that way. This one is heading that way. Yes. Do I need a signal here to get in? Unless we just put a little dwarf signal down there. I mean, it would be functional, wouldn't it? Down here? Yeah, there we go. We could just do something like that. I don't mind it. Put you in there. And yes. This is all working now. This, yes, this works. Now, we're not going to have any issues with trains at the moment on this line, facing off against each other. So we don't have to worry about that too much. But uh, we'd only have to lengthen this, wouldn't we? A touch in order to solve that. Right, you are not those. You are going to be protecting that junction. There. You cross over. Which way do you go? Yeah, you just run that way. It's only to... It's only to branch up onto here that we need to worry about. And it's only going to be two trains. The new boxcar train is going to be running this track. And our stone train is going to be continuing around there. Right. Now we have our connection. Because we're not going to be uh, having a junction up here. Because this is now unused. We can hopefully just swing this all the way around up to here. And it should be a pleasant grade. There we go. Wasn't too bad, was it? That's fine. That's fine. You little freight trains can handle that. Let's tidy this up. We just need the uh, official episode. There we go. Once we get all this in, we get the, the joyous time of setting up a new line, though. And it's going to be quite involved. We will need blocking down here in both directions. Right. This needs to continue off. Oh, not with the road. This section is thankfully flat, as we made it so. Do we have the angle, and is it too slow? No. So yes, we can do that, and we can send that out, and that can go up into there. There we go, we now turn round, rather than do what we were doing. Do you know, I'm gonna get rid of this, guys. It's in the way. And we do have the ballast still there. So I like that. We'll leave the ballast in wherever it was. So you can see where the old track used to be. Perfect. We want it to do something like that instead now. And we're going to have uh, two-way traffic down this end. I guess we could do something with this though. That could branch off still and just end there. That's a possibility. It could also follow this round. Up there, just for a bit of scenery. And uh, branch in that way. There we go. That's not bad, is it? That can continue round and in that way. As long as it looks okay. And we've got a little bit of a bypass track. If we care to use it, it's only one way. But we have it. We're going to head this one all the way up to our junction up here, which is going to be reworked now. Since we never cross over, that was uh, the old layout, we can tidy this up a touch. Uh, this is flat, isn't it? I'm not sure what the speed is on here. Oh, we're going to have to get rid of that signal. So this is the, the straight bit. Can we get that in there tidily? Uh, 58, there we go. It's beautiful. We don't really want to slow our trains down too much. As long as... The, oh, that's better. 51. That's closer, isn't it? Now this makes sense, doesn't it? This signal here. Uh, as I delete it. But that's because I'm moving it up this end. That's going to be there. This is a little bit bizarre. We're actually running the opposite way. 
It makes sense once we get onto the main line. All of this is freight station access. So we need to flip sides, which we thankfully have the signals for. There we go. And we'll stick another signal up this end as well. Just level with that one. There we go. Right, now we've got uh, we've got a lot more signal work going on. Do we need blocking here? I'm not sure we need any blocking here, but I'm going to put them in anyway. Just so we can confuse ourselves when we look at it and the, they're running the opposite way. That does mean this needs to be a little bit different. Because I completely forgot that we'd need to change sides up that end. But there's an easy way to do this. And not only that, it's going to remove the need for a flat crossing. Because what we do is do that. And that gives us everything we need, I think, doesn't it? Yeah, we can swap sides and all sorts. This is nice then. In fact, yes, I love that a lot. This needs to head in as a just a single track again. I mean, it could probably do it directly after this couldn't it? it can just branch like that that's all it needs to do and we don't need any of that there we go oh i love it and because this road isn't used for anything but uh scenery we should be able to just dart across here it's just there for safety maybe works access and then we can bring this back and we'll send the oh not like that can we have a curvy there we go and then this can curve back round that way and then we join back up with our road down this end there we go it's all changed guys and you can go in there that's better and then we've actually got access to this if we ever want it. I don't know whether we will. Right. You are heading that way. We're going to put a signal, I guess, down here will do, wouldn't it? That's where it matters. Signals. Is it the right one? It is. You are going that way. And then you are going to be down here somewhere, aren't you? Uh, which needs to be technically on the other side. For the station up here because we've got that through track that we're not using it may seem clumsy at the moment but i guarantee it's going to work beautifully listen to that confidence yes opposing would do and another one up here where the junction would have been perhaps yeah let's put them opposing there we go and then another one down here because they will be sharing a line. Ooh, the trees are kind of nice. I'm going to leave these in. Yeah, they're going to be sharing a line with our stone train. Is that right? That's right. There we go. And then we've got this one. Well, that's not needed, is it? We can tidy that up further. This we do have to be careful with, though. If we do introduce another train, we'd have to do something different than this. But we can have a two-way signal sat just there this one's fine then we're coming out this way and then we've got a short signal there and that's fine yeah i don't mind that our trains are, are fairly short running here i'd like to keep them moving so we'll continue oh one way continue our setup we have to change the platform as what the complaint is up here for our mixed service so this one yeah this one should be on we can do it in terminals can't we it needs to be on three now three and that will sort that out and if we bring up the line there we go guys there we go we head around that way now and we don't flip no more flipping it does allow us to have much longer trains and not worry about this platform's length uh, other than what it can hold there we go and now we head into the station and we cross over up here lovely but we're not done before we continue 
where is our station we're actually gonna have to rework this <laughs> again i know i know but i would like us a southbound through platform we're gonna be coming into the station from the phoenix freight hub with our boxcar service which means this needs a little bit of a rework but it should be better <laughs> that's what i'm running with guys it should be better and i think we're going to get it up and running today we need this extending because i just like a bit more room oh yes these are the the fast tracks and platforms we can extend but we're going to leave this not a platform track which uh, will become apparent as to why in a second we are instead only blocking off the single platform and what we should be able to have in here we stick that in there and then that and that we have something like that instead now that allows us to continue off and we're going to continue off all the way up that end this is still a bypass track of sorts i'm actually going to delete that get rid of the signal as uh, i'd like it to come in slow we might at some point use it as a bypass track but this is going to be sort of siding going that way and then we drift off up to our siding which is going to stay there and that is not going to stay there our new boxcar freight service is going to drift off the main line and get out the way and head up round to oh how's that going to work is that going to look tidy like that it might be a bit wiggly oh no no ooh, is it let's put it in and see there might be a little bit of a kink in there we can take it off and draw it up to that point can't we we do that that is smoother this is coming in oh what are you oh what are you doing there i don't like any of that why are you bending the track this is not transport tycoon deluxe this is going to continue up we're going to have this a bit bigger with a bit more scenery and we are going to have some wagons parked in here as though we are building ourselves a manifest a consist and you are going to continue up that way all the way down to there we're going to have another one branching off down here and running just at the side of the track there and then we're going to have one more up the end here and send you all the way down there bit of official episode i think is all that's required there get all that smoothed off okay i love it paint tools can we get some dirt not that much goodness me can we get some dirt down here leave a bit of grass that's fine all down there all around the side there i don't want to get rid of the grass on the uh the actual sidings itself that could do with probably bring it up couldn't it to the same height as everything else there that's beautiful there we go then we can smooth it a touch gets rid of the, the iffiness i don't think we need a pine tree there or whatever it is scott's pine isn't it i think is uh <laughs> i don't know trees very well i'm not some expert in trees no i just know from when you hover over it in the uh, tree painty tool thing assets i need to know now is it a scots pine it is i remembered sort of right two way little dwarf signals on here i guess they can be sort of aligned unless they align perfectly and then i'll be super happy because they were a bit wonky before weren't they oh it's beautiful there we go oh that's nicer guys it's everything's better <laughs> the whole thing's better now we don't technically need one coming in here we can put the one back in here though and it can be two way there we go we can also have ooh, where do we put it here i mean we could have it on the uh 
into the platform, couldn't we? Like that, yeah. But this is two-way. It's not actually going to be used, but that's kind of nice. It almost works. We'll take that. Okay, and then we need one coming into the station, which could be double head, I guess. If we need to go in the sidings, perhaps. And then we need one at the end of the bridge here. That does want to be one way. There we go. There we go. I know we've got a close signal here, but we could call that a distance signal, perhaps. Just to get trains moving if they're waiting up this end. Is that two head? It is. There we go. Right. Now it should all make sense, I hope. Shall we get the line up and running? It's going to be a, an interesting one. What it's hopefully going to do is lighten up this uh, amount of goods we have waiting. Uh, I'm not sure whether Palmdale is anywhere close. No, look at that. We're not even close to meeting its uh, demand on goods. Now, this is what all of this boxcar setup is uh, all about. We can also bring some bread back, maybe some food. Ooh, I never thought about that. Yeah, we might be able to half and half it with some goods and some food when we pop through. Maybe uh, dedicate a couple of wagons for it. Like have a 10%. Yes, if we have 10 wagons, <laughs> then one of those wagons could be food. We're going to have a bit more than that. What are these? These are managed vehicle. These are 14 plus 8, so they're good math. 22. So if we had 20 to start with, that's easy math, isn't it? And we have 10% two cars, which are dedicated to, uh, to food, bringing food down for us. And any one of those could drop them off. Um, we'll have to check that. So let's get this new line up and running. Where are we technically going to start from? It would be goods. We're mainly goods. So we start off picking up goods from the, uh, yeah, from Lumber East. Then we head down and drop those goods off at the goods station. And which line are we going to use? I think you can use that one. Uh, we might be better off using the other, actually. No, we'd have to get across though, wouldn't we? I don't like it. Yeah, that's fine. We'll go there. Then we're heading all the way up. And we'll... Although we could use this one. It's already busy. We're going to drift off and use that one. Just to really uh, busy things up down this end. Then we're heading all the way back. And it's looking good. This looks like Lego colours. When I first had Lego, it was reds and blues. The little Lego men I had. Anyway, I digress. Then we split off. It's very busy down this end. And then we use the... the we well, we actually share it with that one. We'll see how this works. I don't think they're going to be interacting that often. Is that everything? No. What have you missed, Grand? After Palmdale, we just did all this. After Palmdale, you need to go that way round. There we go. Now it makes sense. Oh, you silly sausage. So we, we make a detour, which means we now use our brand new setup that we just put in. Uh, we actually sort of avoid this line when we cross over. It's a little bit close. We might need to rework that depending on how close it is. But this is nice. Yeah, that is nice. Then it's uh, we're opposing on the opposite side of the track there. And then we get back to normal. And then we uh, now drift off that way. So we've lightened the load a little bit. We have nothing that goes straight through yet. We may find uh, a reason to use that. It's just there as an option. And then we all split off into our freight hub here. It's marvellous. Shall we get a train running this? What are we calling this? This will be the Palmdale. Uh, Mixed goods. Yeah, Palmdale mixed goods. I like that. We'll colour this one. Oh, you've gone. You've you've gone. Palmdale mixed goods. Oh, dear. 
Uh, it's going to be food and machines, isn't it? Food and machines and goods. So it's a kind of a grey brownie bar. It's going to be all over the shop. I'll tell you what. We'll go with that one. It stands out. Yeah. Yes, there we go. Although it's a little bit like... In fact, it is like that one. I guess we could go there. Are they all different in here? That's what I would like. Yeah, mixed goods and it's a good color. There is a lot going on. We've got to get this up and running. We haven't even set what it's doing at each station. So at the lumber place, we are going to be... We don't need to load full. I think what we'll do to start with is we'll just assign it what we'd like to do. All we're going to do to start with is load goods, as many as we want, and then at Palmdale, we'll unload our goods. Then at Palmdale Branch, which is actually Palmdale, that's better, we are loading machines. The last stop is Phoenix Freight Hub, where we unload machines and then pick up food. And we're going to go with 10% food and have 20 wagons on it. 20 boxcars to start with. Do we like that? And then at Palmdale, we need to unload food as well then. There we go. Right, we'll see how that works. <laughs> if it does work, I'll be ecstatic and kind of amused. And since we start over there, we do have access down here now, don't we? We got that sorted. So let's build us a consist. Doesn't really matter which one we use. Steam. Uh, any of these will do. Uh, I'm going to go with the... Uh, does, does it matter? We've got loads of those. I'm going to go back with these. Yeah. And uh, maybe the unlettered one. There we go. The unlettered one. And we need a whole bunch of boxcars on here. 20, wasn't it? So... 20 boxcars, please. Oh, no, that's the train. You can't do that, can you? No, I don't think you can. I don't think you can put 20 in here. Uh, no, not 201. That's excessive. And then add. No, that would have been nice. <laughs> it's fine. There we go. We've got 20 on there. That's, uh, that should be 20, 12. Yes, 24. Lovely. 268 meters long. We need a caboose, and I think we need a caboose, as was mentioned in the comments on our uh, oil train as well that we uh, lengthened. I don't know where they are. I can never remember where they are. There we are. Get you on there. Yes, caboose on the back. Bye, you. Oh, no, I just brought 20. You absolute sausage. Can we sell, like, almost all of those, please? We've got it going. Uh, let's see uh, how decent you look. Oh, yes. Before we hit play, where's our oil train? Uh, are you... That's one of the original oil trains. You haven't got to your station just yet. What are you? Oh, you're our coal train. And have you got very far at all? I'm trying to find you. I think that's you. Yeah, there you are. Manage vehicle. You need... You need a caboose on the back, don't you? There we go. There we go. Lovely. Right, anyway, let's go back over. See our brand new train appear. Uh, we'll get rid of the boxcars next time out. It'll be interesting to see if he still takes any goods or whether this train takes them over. Oh, actually, no, that's silly, Grand. What you want to do is edit these without boxcar they don't need boxcars anymore do they manage vehicle oh we need to set up make sure okay. right hold everything make sure which one is it goods delivery wants to be food right make sure that you are not set to yes you can you can pick up and drop off what you like and you are just a yeah you're just a box box truck perfect let's manage these we're going to get these both. We're going to... Uh, I guess we'll replace the boxcars with... How many do we have? Four. Yeah, so 
get rid of those and we'll replace them with one, two, three, four of those. Stick the caboose back at the back. And one, two, three, four. And we'll, one, two, three, four. And we'll, we'll set the orders as well. Make sure you don't pick up any, it shouldn't actually, it should remove them, but we'll just double check. Montgomery mixed freight. Let's make sure you're not picking up anything you shouldn't be. Yes. Yes and yes. You should have just got rid of the stuff, but now that we can't actually... Yeah, it's got rid of it automatically. Look at that, guys. We're good. Right, so that's the new setup there. That means the goods should be assigned to us now. Either that or they've just vanished. And we have nothing waiting for us just yet. Hopefully they start to move over. There it goes. There it goes, guys. Our people are moving the goods across, as you can see there. They're like, okay, it's changed. We've got a new consist coming. Let's get everything moved over from P whatever that is to P whatever that is. <laughs> I really don't know what platform numbers they are. Uh, terminals, you are moving from P7 to P7 p6 and it up every time it updates it resets the scroll bar that's fantastic let's not look at that then and there there we go this is the train we'll ride on for the end guys that's impressive that i got that done it may be full of errors so far so good we've got a busy day ahead of us haven't we if you're aboard this train does all the things and it's just box cars and we can um we can shuffle things around a little bit. I guess uh, I guess we can leave it 100% because it will already have uh, any food on that it requires. I just want to check that it is going to carry some food. And I, I really do. In the freight hub, please pick up 10% food. Lovely. Should be two cars worth. Should it? Yes. Oh, that's what I'm running with. Uh, let's see if you are earmarked to go to Palmdale. Consumers, it's happening, guys. Just like that. I am shocked. All right, guys, we're on board our brand new boxcar train. And because it does such a fantastic run around our network, I thought we'd get on it early. And uh, I'll leave us for a, a bit of a ride. I'm, I mean... Just to date this, it is Christmas Day. I'm recording this Christmas morning. <laughs> so, and I've got to edit it and then get it up to you. So uh, if you want to watch a bit of Christmas GT, then it's there. It's also dated this video terribly. So if you're watching this in the middle of March, yes, probably a bit soon to be mentioning the C word. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying your day and uh, we'll leave leave us on board this i'm so chuffed <laughs> thank you for watching and until next time take care